The West African nation of Senegal is currently in the grip of a tumultuous riots. At least nine people have been killed in Senegal in clashes between riot police and supporters of opposition leader Osman Sonko following a court sentencing him to two years in jail. He did not attend the trial and was absent when yesterday's judgment was handed down. He was presumed to be at his darker home where he had been blocked in by security forces after being detained at the weekend. Clashes soon broke out after yesterday's verdict which made disqualify Sonko, the fiercest opponent of President Macky Sall, from contesting next year's presidential election. Cars and buses were set alight in the capital Dakar and disturbances were reported elsewhere including the city of Ziguinkor where Sonko has been mayor since 2022. The verdict has since sparked protests as violence erupted at a central university campus where demonstrators set a car on fire and threw rocks at riot police who later retaliated with tear gas. A former civil servant, Songo rose to prominence in presidential elections in 2019, coming third after a campaign that took aim at the current president Saul and the country's ruling elite. He portrays Saul as corrupt and a would-be dictator, while the president's supporters call Songo a rabble rouser who has sown instability in the country and in the political landscape. The 48-year-old presidential aspirant was accused of raping a woman who worked in a massage parlor in 2021 and then of issuing death threats to her. However, he repeatedly denied wrongdoing and called it a ploy to stop him from running in the presidential elections in 2024. His initial arrest on rape charges in 2021 had also sparked several days of clashes that had left at least 12 people dead. He has been sentenced to two years in prison for corrupting youth but was acquitted on the rape charges which the accuser's lawyers said that they will appeal. As per the laws in Senegal, immoral behavior towards individuals younger than 21 years of age amounts to corrupting youth, which is a criminal offense. Separately, Sonko is also appealing against a six-month suspended prison sentence for libel, an offense which he also denies. Sonko, who is particularly popular among younger voters, boycotted the trial proceedings but was forced to return to the capital city of Dakar by the police over the weekend. The case has since sparked protests by Sonko's supporters who have also called in charges against him politically motivated. However, there is no official confirmation whether the verdict will stop Sonko for running for president. Since the trial first began in 2021, the nation has witnessed sporadic protests from the opposition party leader supporters who have denounced all the charges. Subscribe to One India channel and never miss an update.